Alright guys, how you doing today? My name is Mike with Crandall Office Furniture and in this video we will show you how to remove and replace a Herman Miller Aeron seat. Okay, so the first step in removing the Aeron seat is to remove these two bolts on either side of the seat. We have one here and one here. Um, I am using a 6 millimeter hex tool. We want to use manual tools. We do not want to use any power tools on these bolts. We don't want to strip the screw out and uh, this can cause more trouble than it's worth and you don't want that to happen. No bueno. So these bolts can be a little tough, so give some pressure, but do not strip it out. So here we go, guys. A little different angle. There it is, snaps right open. All right, we'll leave it right there for right now. We'll go to the bottom bolts. Again, nice and tight. Don't be scared. And that one's loose. We'll pop to the other side. Get a better angle. Nice and tight in there. There it is. Get the bottom one. There we go. Now we'll just remove those bolts completely and remove the seat. Almost got all the bolts removed. Last one down here. And we now have the seat removed. Simple as that. So we have our new seat on the table. We're going to grab the old seat. And we do need to move these two J bars over to the new seat. Um, Aerons have a couple different styles, so it's always a good idea to maybe snap a picture of what these look like before you deconstruct and move them over, kind of see where the washers go, kind of see how they're positioned, and just move them over directly to the new one. So it's a T25 bolt here for this one, so I'm just going to stick that into there. Just have a standard needle nose pliers here. Any wrench will do. Give you some pressure so you can remove the bolts like so. Again, not using any power tools, so nothing strips. Just move it directly over to the new spot on the new seat. Thread in my nut. Got my T25 and my pliers. Okay, we'll do the next one. And that's it folks. Now we are ready to put the seat back on the chair. Okay, so now it's time to put the seat back on our air on chair. So we do have our side bushings here, one popped out, some come off, some do not. But if one comes off, you can just pop it right back in there, like so. Okay, we're going to pop the seat in. The J channels, J bars go behind the wires. And rest on the base like so. I'm going to finger tighten the bottom J bar bolt first. Okay, so now I have the J bars finger tightened. We're going to try to attempt to line the seat up with the side bolts. Good times here at Crandall Office Furniture. And it looks like I got that one threaded in there. 
kind of see the thread going in there. I'm going to go back to the other side, see if I can get that one started. Kind of see it in there. There we go. Let's go ahead and give that one a nice tight. Come back to the other side, kind of go back and forth. That one's tight. And that one's tight. And it's tight again. We'll go back down to the bottom J bar bolts. Give those a nice snug fit. How many times will I drop the hex wrench? Almost. OK, nice and tight. Other side. All righty, I think we have it. So that is how you remove and replace your Herman Miller Aeron seat. I hope you had a great time today. I had a wonderful time with you. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us at crandalloffice.com. Thanks a lot, guys. Thank you for watching this quick tutorial. If you found this video helpful, please make sure to click the like and subscribe buttons below. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to us at crandalloffice.com or on our Facebook page. I need to start. We need to have Bob Ross going in the background. How? Yeah, so I can just l listen to him and I can say what he says into here. All right, folks, so now you've uh, fixed your Herman Miller Aeron seat. Happy seating. <laughs> All, right. All right, let's do it, Jake. Enough fun. Enough fun.